What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniel, and today we're gonna to be talking about the eight things that you need, that you must have for paramotor. Let's get down to it. To make a long story short, obviously you're gonna need more than eight things for paramotor, but I'm gonna give you my least, my essential, the few things that I know I must have at all time with me when I'm flying my paramotor or when I'm going places with my paramotor to get some flights in. It might be different for some of you guys, so feel free to go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what are your must have. But for me, my eight must have are these one. Let's start with number one. <laughs> I know some of you guys might argue with me, but my number one for me, it's right here. It's my reserve. So this is my reserve for when I go paragliding without my motor, or if I wanna have two reserve when I'm flying my motor, I have one that is mounted on the side of my harness. Reserve, why? Because it's just the only thing you have to protect yourself in case something goes wrong. Assuming you have enough altitude and all this stuff, yada, 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 like there's so many different situations where it might be tricky to use a reserve, but at the end of the day, it's better to have a reserve than to have none. And I think someone said like having one reserve is like having zero and having two reserve is like having one. I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me that reserve is the number one you should have. For me, that's my number one thing. I wanna have my reserve when I fly. That's my number one, reserve. <laughs> So my number two for me is a bundle of a bunch of different stuff. So gas can, most important thing because you carry your gas places, right? If you go fly somewhere far, you wanna be able to carry some extra gas so you can fill up your tank. I like to have this one right here. Pretty much to do my mix, it makes it easier. I put my oil right here with my ratio, 40 to one, and then I have my gas. Go ahead, mix it, and this is ready to go. I know this can is ready to go. Second can, that's the big one right here that I have. So I have three different gas can. You can have a long neck funnel that you can buy Harbor Freights, Harbor Freights, I don't know how you say it, or you can buy it on Amazon. I have the link in the description down below, but I got this one. It's an electric pump, liquid transfer pump, as you can see. It requires two battery and it's super fast to transfer everything. So I really love it. It was only $5. So I say gas can, I say gas, I say long neck funnel to transfer the gas. And the last step you will need is your oil. This is what I use for oil. It's a Royal, Royal Purple two stroke engine. I have been using this for about three years now. I love it. It's super cheap on Amazon. Again, the link is down below if you wanna go ahead and order it. It's about like $13 for a bottle. <laughs> Number three, sounds a little silly, but it's really important, is in-flight, which is gonna be your phone, your GPS, your music, earbuds, you have, you know, like a little bit more noise cancellation uh, when you're flying. That's really important for so many reasons. Phone, obviously, if you have an engine out or if you're stranded somewhere, you wanna have a way to communicate. God forbid you crash. You wanna have a way to communicate and to call the emergency. Now, here's the deal. There's places where you fly, you're not gonna have receptions. There's a couple different devices that you can use. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some over here on the screen on the right side, on the left side, that you can use and you can buy and you have reception, GPS reception to call the emergency if anything happened. Obviously communication, so you can call, you can listen to music from your phone, you can track your flights, you can take pictures. Uh, for my helmet right here that I have, obviously I do have the Bluetooth that is connected to it. I can also connect my radio. Uh, I made a video about this helmet. I'm gonna put the link up here so you guys go ahead and check it out. That's part of my must have obviously so I can connect my music and all the stuff, so. <laughs> Number four, something that I've been promoting so many times, but it's again, it's an essential for me. It's my flying pouch right here that I have. So flying pouch, I love it because it goes up on my chest when I'm flying and it doesn't bother me on my harness. It doesn't bother me when I wanna look down or when I wanna land, get off on my seat or anything. It's just amazing. So they're about 17 to $20 on Amazon. The link is down below also, so go ahead and check it out. This pouch is amazing. There's so many pockets, again, uh, just go check it out. It's super convenient. The one thing that I forgot to mention is the retractable keychain that I have right here. With this retractable keychain, uh, there's a ring right here. It's a little piece of like plastic with a ring. Slide this in the phone right here. Up, sticking out right here. And it's hanging this way right there. So there's a little clip. I put it on it and I'm all set. How it is right now, as you can see, up and it doesn't go anywhere. And for the price, it's definitely worth it. So that's for my number four. So let's go into number five. 
as I have the flying pouch with a bunch of different things that I don't really need, right? The little accessories for flying. I always have a small little bag, which is in my paramount right now. And there's a bunch of like basic, basic snack. Granola bar, maybe like some beef jerky and like a big trash bag really like smashed down. And that is if you have an engine out somewhere and then you have some food, um, you know, something to put in your stomach. Obviously, if you want to have a bottle of water, they sell those small one at Costco. If you're flying, if you're doing cross country, it's good to have it. And a big trash bag can be useful in so many ways. If there's too windy or if it's raining or whatever it is, I don't know, whatever. You can put your wing inside or you can just use your wing as a cover and put yourself in the trash bag, cut a hole and have your head out. Uh, I know it seems a little bit like a little bit too much, but I don't think it is. That's from a number five. <laughs> Uh, number six is gonna be your toolbox. It's gonna be up to you. It's gonna be based on your motor, on your frame, because every frame has different type of attachment, a different type of hardware. So for my toolbox, I have a bunch of different stuff. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna read some of the stuff that I have. 3 8 torque wrench. I have zip ties, a socket set. I have a spark plug socket. I have a one fourth adapter. I have a long nose plier. I have super glue. I have tamper proof marker, a hex key wrench, a six inch adjustable wrench, mini screwdriver for the carb adjustment and so on. I have a bunch of different stuff. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but again, if I do need it, I have it. Now, one thing that I have with me all the time and I use this and I and I fly with it in case I have an engine out or I'm stranded somewhere is this. A tiny little pouch right here. So I have my main toolbox that I take in my car, but this is just a small pouch. It's a good like three, four pounds for what it is. And what I have inside is literally, I have all the basic tool that I'm gonna need. I have a bunch of zip ties right here. I have a little plastic bag. I don't know if you can see what it is. And inside this plastic bag, I have all sort of tools and attachments and hex key wrench and whatever it is that I need for my type of frame. I have this so I can attach my different bit. Some extra rope for my netting. I have a spark plug, which is already gapped properly. I have electrical tape. I have a small knife, fire, a cutter. I have a Sharpie. Don't ask me why, because it fits, I guess. I have a spark plug socket, and this is what goes on my frame that holds my hook together and my netting, because this breaks quite often, so I like to have it. I almost forgot one thing. I just found this tool. It's called the Snowflake tool on Amazon, and it has 18 different function. And as you can see, it has different sort of attachment. And I mean, I guess you can use this for so many different things. So that's for my number six. <laughs> And my number seven is spare parts. I have spare parts all the time. And then the more you fly, the more you realize that you're gonna need those spare parts. I have a fuel filter right here. And I put this in a little pouch right here. See this little pouch. I have fuel hose, just in case. I don't know, go figure. I have an air filter for my engine. I have an extra belt. I have my old netting that has a small hole in it but it's better than if I have my netting, my actual netting that completely burst, I can use that. I do have an extra starter and an extra prop. And now finally, let's go into number eight is gonna be my paramotor carrier because I own two different cars. I have a Jeep Liberty, which is pretty big of a car, but my paramotor completely assembled does not fit in the Jeep. There's no way to fit it in unless I take the hoop apart, which is a pain in the butt for my specific frame. Then I have a Tesla Model 3, so obviously impossible. It will never fit in the car. So I have a towing hitch that a friend of mine built. I do a couple of videos so you guys can see exactly what it looks like, but that's my number eight for me, which could be a number one either way, but I know it's a must have for me because without that, I cannot go fly anywhere. Anyway, that is my top eight things that I need. Did I forget anything? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you find this video helpful or not? Again, if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel. Also, thanks Matt Cohen for giving me this amazing idea to make this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Fly safe and don't forget to stay bad.